IGN just revealed five minutes of pure raw gameplay of Halo Infinite's campaign. And so in this video, I'm gonna show it and then we're gonna break it down afterwards. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. Hey everybody, it's Kevin. Welcome to the channel to keep you up to date with everything going on with Halo. IGN just released a raw 5 minute gameplay of Halo Infinite's campaign. So what I'm planning to do with this video is show you just the campaign gameplay itself. And then we'll break down the interesting parts about it because there's some really interesting things. So we'll see you back in later in this video. new and dangerous? Uh-huh. You were right. Eyes up, Chief. More of them. This is taking longer than I thought. Something is taking control of local systems. skimmers coming from is that what we're calling them well i was also considering flying octopus monkeys skimmers it is then Up, Chief, more of them. What happened back there? When I interfaced with the cradle, it unlocked something. Something important. Cortana was here six months ago. I could feel what she felt when you arrived. It was joy, fear, and pain. Chief, is that another's... Something big went down in here. Spartans don't go quietly. I've noticed. A thruster module. Evasive maneuvers on demand. Now then... Who are you? Scan complete. Spartan Theodore Sorel. Special weapons expert. Died 13 days ago, like Makovich. The assassin? Brutes. More than one. 
Whoever they are, they're proficient, well-trained. We've got a score to settle. So that was pretty awesome, right? So this very first section here is kind of like the basic kind of situation where you go into an arena, you input the weapon, defend it for X amount of ways or enemies that come by. So it's pretty standard gaming stuff right there. Plus it's also really cool to figure out like this is the first time you actually come across skimmers as well. So this should be playing out pretty early in the game as well. This also seems to be like one of those main missions as well. It gets a very crafted kind of experience. Skimmers it is then. Next I want to point out are these fusion coils that are on the map. They have a different kind of coloring shading to them as well as we do know there's gonna be like an electric style fusion coil there's like a traditional yellow one as well this one kind of looks more like forerunnery in a way so maybe this might be dealing some different type of damage when you utilize these fusion coils of course they didn't do it in the gameplay but we'll have to see when the game finally releases Interesting little thing I noticed about the cinder shot here that you can actually have an ammo counter on the weapon as well. That glowing indicator that's on the screen right there. It has six different sections on it, which is the six amount of shots that you have within the weapon. So it acts as an ammo counter, which looks amazing. Next is an interesting way of how the player utilizes the electric grapple shot right here, which is kind of interesting because we've seen it be used before in the campaign overview where they grappled a blue tier brute grapple towards them got the melee kind of stuns them in the way right here you see the player stun a skimmer and it actually doesn't actually grapple towards them so maybe flying enemies you can't grapple towards so that's kind of an interesting gameplay mechanic also keep an eye when they try to reuse this technique when the brute flies in and as this broody boy flies in at master chief he only grapples towards them but doesn't actually stun them now this Brute is in the animation of flying in the air, so maybe that doesn't really cancel out the flying animation in some capacity, because you know you can't really stun when you're in midair. It can't be some weird physics happening at the moment. Uh, but interesting to keep in mind to see if maybe at higher tier brutes you cannot stun with the electric grapple shot. Again, let's have to wait until to see more when the gameplay actually releases. This next part looks to provide better context to what you're doing because it seems to be pretty early in the game, about six months again, like I said, after the events of Zeta Halo. You're talking about actually interfacing with Cortana a little bit there, being able to track her and saying that she's been feeling feelings of like pain, remorse, and also fear as well. So it's gonna be pretty interesting how like tracking down Cortana is gonna work within Halo Infinite. Here we get our first look at how you will be acquiring new abilities within the campaign. This seems to be very main story, be golden path kind of stuff where if you're just playing the game you will unlock these as you progress through as it does sound like the grab shot is what you start off with within the game and then as you progress through it you get different types of equipment mainly off of these dead spartans as gaming form mentioned as well though if you want to upgrade these bits of equipment you have to find them out within the open world with the spartan core so there's a differential between how you will discover these abilities and how you will upgrade them so if you want more analysis kind of videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel, guys. Check out the videos on the screen for more content from me if you're new to the channel here. And thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.